The official commissioning of the newly remodeled NNS Way Multipurpose Hall has been held at the NNS Way Administrative Office in Lagos. The event, which was hosted by the commander of NNS Way, Commodore M.M. Brimer, had the flag officer commanding Western Naval Command, Rear Admiral M.B. Hassan, as the special guest of honor and other guests, including the chairman of Oriade LCDA, in attendance. Attesting to the visionary leadership of Commodore M.M. Brimer, who conceived their idea for a better place to have social and official activities other than the parade ground, speakers after speakers said the multipurpose hall, as stated, will be used for all intents and purposes for bringing people together, ensuring stately events and to make it a thriving activity hub that would enhance the quality of life of the users of the hub. They also mentioned that the commissioning of the multipurpose hall is more than just a building, noting that it is a symbol of strength, resilience and determination and with a veritable proof that with effective coordination, unity of purpose and willingness, it can climb to much greater heights to improve lives. In an interview with News Flash 247 at the event, the executive chairman of Oriade LCDA, Ramata Lai or Larry Waju Hassan, said the local council keeps a symbiotic relationship with security agencies, particularly the Nigerian Navy, to ensure that security is an all-time high within the LCDA and environs. You know, you know, I can't say this is what I do for them. What is our relationship? You can ask them. Here in Uriade, we have a cordial relationship with all the officers, all the naval, the police, the collection centers, the immigration, all the security, the civil defense, even the army. Because we have to work together to make the progress of the local government. You can, you can come in and see. About a month ago, we gave all the police vehicles and the one at the river we gave them bike. And anything they need, we do it for them. It was a lot of infrastructure is going on in Uriade. Okay. Because it's not my money. It's people's money, and I have to spend it to them. It's not my money. It's the residents' money. It's the electorate's money, and I have to spend it to them. Adding his voice, Commander of NNS Way, Commodore M.M. Brimer, said that the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral A.I. Ogala's extensive vision for the barracks is that of a steady maintenance culture and continuity, and with the commissioning of the 200 capacity multipurpose hall named after the chief of naval staff, this will not be an exception. He also promised that NNS Way will continue to unveil future pet projects, which will include the launch of its Made in Edition magazine and a theme park for children in a couple of months. Okay, for me, I like I spoke with you last time, one of the motivating factors for me is the chief of naval staff who has interpreted his vision and mission clearly for us. And my barrack, as I told you earlier, he has developed over 15 projects and all. So, and we, as officers and strategic leaders, we have to look out for your mentor and look out to your senior, see what they are doing and you do also. So he, when he awarded those projects and all, he actually told us about the need for us to imbibe a good maintenance culture, which is spelled out. As in that vein, I came up with this hall, the multi-purpose hall, Vice Admirer Emmanuel Kituko Gala multi-purpose hall, for purpose of conducting lectures, seminars, and everything for the base. And within my tenure, definitely I've spoken with the base technical officer. We are going to try as much as possible to ensure because it's a pet project. And definitely when I leave, it will be well maintained. And I want to believe because of the steps we have taken. Whoever happened to be my successor, we definitely build on it because it's a very wonderful uh, edifice. I believe whoever comes in will also build and will do better compared to what we have laid down. As I said, I started this project on the 27th of March, which marked my two months here as commander of the Airbase. I started and today, we're 27th of uh, August, which is exactly seven months. So let's say about four or five months we are here. So for me, it's quite remarkable. I assume command 27th of January. I laid the foundation 27th of March, and today, 27th of August, is being commissioned. Okay, like as I rightly said, I feel that NSW is doing so much. 
the Lagos area for you to have 10 barracks under your command. You can imagine the enormous activity that is going on. So our next project for next month, which we have started, is to come out with a maiden edition of NNS Way magazine, which I christened Sailor's Home Front magazine. That will be the first edition for us, I know. We are hoping by God's grace, next month being September 2024, we'll be done with it. And by October, November, I'm trying to come up with a mini children's park for the children. Yeah, so that's an, in this barrack. So it's something that is quite rich, but I won't have started gradually. And uh, maybe my predecessor might be wrong, but I will try to commission either October or November. The flag officer commanding Western Naval Command, Rear Admiral MB Hassan, while congratulating NNS Way for the project, said the grandiose hall is a source of pride and will promote social cultural familial activities while improving a lively ambience within NNS Way. MB has on the flag of Sir Commanding Western Naval Command. Today we are here to commission the Multipurpose Hall, Christian Rear Vice Admiral IE Ogala Multipurpose Hall. It's a beautiful venture and it's going to be very profitable to the NNS Way community. It's going to give us space for bigger meetings, for socio-cultural meetings, and more family gatherings. So in the bottom, bottom line, if you have a very happy and boisterous social base, it will add to our operational efficiency out there.